Hey, what is going on, you ridiculous Raticate? Today we're going to be playing some games with Big Blounds. Full credit for this list goes to Victor, who made day two with it at um, Malmo Regionals not too long ago. And I've been playing around with it quite a bit over on my stream, twitch.tv slash azulgg. And been having quite a bit of fun uh, with the Big Blounds. It's been a while since I've really played around with it. Um, but it's been fun. Uh, the deck can kind of pretty much beat everything in the current meta. The deck isn't too ridiculously powerful or anything, you know. I don't find it to be like tier one or anything, but uh, you have the Stinger plus Baby Blonde combo, so you can beat like the Mill and Control decks. And then uh, you're just a kind of a hard hitting, straightforward attacking deck besides that, with the Mind Blown, so uh, you can beat uh, the attacking decks as well. And yeah, the deck's pretty fun. Let's go ahead, let's get into some games. All right, getting into our first one here against Zell. Let's see, uh, we're going first or second. We do want to choose to go first. If we do get the option, we lost the coin flip, so we're probably going second. We'll see. Yep. One second, ADP deck box, ADP sleeves. I'm gonna make a guess that they're playing ADP. So our game plan in this matchup uh, is to try and just get the turn one burst. Uh, burst GX, go down to five prize cards as fast as possible. And then from there, once they use the ADP's GX attack, we're gonna try and one shot that with uh, a big blonde. There we got the big blonde. And then um, after that, try and knock out the Zation they're gonna throw at us. Uh, or we can try and get our amulets in play, kind of slow down the pace of the game. Uh, which we do have here, which means we might be able to pull off that as well and go that route. Uh, especially if we get another, if we can top deck a way to get another blind in play to put an amulet on, that would be perfect. Um, oh, the Kaparaja. There's a Ditto. All right. I don't know what's going on here. We could be in trouble. This guy's really big. Um, and uh, put a frying pan on it. We would need like five energy to knock it out with a Cephalon. If it is like a Kaparaja deck. There's a ditto so far, so I don't know fully what's going on. Um, maybe they only play the ditto when they play. Well, there goes a, a frying pan. It might be a full Kaparaja deck, which is definitely going to be tough for us to beat, I think, if they have enough frying pans. But there comes, there goes an Aurora energy, so I'm not sure where this is going. We'll find out shortly here. Another quick ball. All right, all right. There's the ADP. Okay, that's expected. All right, so now I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable. It should just probably be an ADP style deck um which i'm definitely gonna be uh more comfortable against i think than a straight up kaparaja frying pan deck i think that'd be a little bit more difficult to deal with actually all right found an ultra space i'm gonna get that second baby the second blonde into play so we can get both these amulets into play just thin both those out attach here so this can completely change how we play out the game um turn to turn oof all right this hand's looking a little rough it's okay got some time First GX, like I said, that's going to be our go-to here. Quick ball gone. I mean, we weren't going to be drawing the prize card anyways. There's nothing we can do about it. Just gone. ADP looking like it's going to make its way to the active here. Um, so we got the value out of the amulets. And that was what I was trying to do. So that's, we didn't get a, a poi pull in play at all, which of course stinks. But uh, we haven't like lost the game or anything yet. Still just fine. It was a tag call for our opponent. <laughs> See what else they got going on in here then. Guzmahala, Malolana, sure. And they're going to be looking to GX attack this turn using the Guzmahala, probably to get in the skateboard. Um, and then uh, switch out their active. There goes an Absol. There's an escape board. I did not see the other card they got. <clears throat> That's fine though. Should be fine. Hopefully it's going to be fine. There's a tag call again from the Stellar Wish. There we go. Escape board to the Jirachi. Chaotic Swell. So now we're even locked out. Even if we top deck Heat Factory as a draw, a draw out. We're locked out of that. Here comes the Alter Creation. And top deck. Okay. Um, patch to the bench. Play Marnie. Once again, we're kind of just helping our opponent with every Marnie. They had three cards in the hand last turn, three cards in hand this turn. Kind of just helping out our opponent more so than anything. All right, we got a Poipul. We're going to Bursting Burn our opponent here with the Blacephalon. Confuse them and burn them. So they might actually get stuck for a turn and not be able to attack. Uh, because of that burn. They only down one switch, though. And I mean, ADP decks that have Jirachis in it generally play four switch. So them getting out of this wouldn't be a huge surprise at all. There's a tag call. Probably going to get themselves a Mallow and Lana. Um, I would guess. We saw it was in the deck earlier. I don't think they discarded it. Nope. No discard on the Mallow and Lana. So I'm expecting the Mallow and Lana grab here off this tag call. We'll see. Maybe not. Oh, Caitlyn and Cynthia. Maybe they have a switch in hand already. Otherwise, it would be... Maybe they just have the Malolana. No, going with the Caitlyn and Cynthia, still, they still might have a switch. Very interested as to why they didn't grab Malolana, but and they might have the switch, so then it would make sense. 
but they're betting to hit a switch, which seems a little bit risky. We'll see what they got. Maybe they'd have the energy, so they wouldn't be able to have actually used Ultimate Ray. Uh oh, are we going for the flip here? There's another uh, ADP to the bench. It is the flip. It is a Tails. Okay, now we've got a chance to get back in control of this one. There's another Poipool. I'm going to give up this uh, Fire Energy, get a uh, Naganadel GX, which I don't really want to put in play, but it's fine. Ultimate Ray doesn't knock it out anyway, so that's good. Get rid of this. Draw some cards. Nothing spectacular, but we're, we're getting there. We're building up to something better. Um, and then once again, just Bursting Burn, put them back, burn to take 20 more damage. Maybe they stay burned and take 20 more coming into our turn, which would mean we need one less... Nope, never mind. <laughs> we would need one less energy to knock it out if it got up to 90, because then we'd only need four to do the um, 190 HP left. There is the Kaparaja. Um, there's the Mallow and Lana. All right, healing all the damage, all the work we just did. And back to the bench they go. So our game plan is definitely going to be knock out this ADP and then try and knock out this Dedenne either with the snipe from Venom Shot or we can just great catcher it up and knock it out with a Pesephalon as well. One of those two lines of play is going to be our, our plan here. There was a custom to hand, so we know they have that in their hand. Two other customs left. So them getting double custom next turn would it be too big of a surprise, but we'll see. We got a lot of stuff left. We have a lot of, well, we got four Welders. We got our Dedenne left. We got our Oracorio left to draw cards. We got another Naganid LGX. We don't really have any energy in the discard pile, so us getting a, a charging up Naganid L isn't super important. Here comes that, the dude with the muscular nose, man. All right. Go the Cephalon. There's the Dedenne. Okay, so we can just go um, uh, attach here. Boy pull, dead eight. just gonna go with the dead eight change. Trying to draw as much as possible as far as cards go. Um, Beast ring, gonna grab myself. So what do we have with two big blown? We got this small blown. Not gonna need a lot of those. I'm gonna grab myself two fire here. Throw them on this again. We can try and just get the snipe off. This guy does do 220, so we gotta be careful of that though. Um, just preventing us from getting there. Um, gonna do this first. Gonna use, um, wanna keep the psychic energy. Could quick ball a treasure. Gonna grab this baby blind because he's useless. Then we could quick ball him because we have a ton of stuff left. We'll just go with the Ultra Conversion at this point. One, two, three. There's the Welder. Get more energy in play. <clears throat> Here, two more. Okay. <clears throat> Ultra Conversion. Get rid of the Poipole because we do want this Charging Up here. Charging Up guy here, maybe. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. We're going to be like an energy short in play from like protecting our win condition. We're going to have to go with a great catcher game plan maybe on the next turn, which is fine. Um, but I really want to set up for the the uh, Venom shot. All right. Mind blown. One, two, three, four, five, six. Done. That's it. I mean, we can get another energy. We can weld it here and then attach the psychic. But my fear is that this is going to get knocked out from this guy on the next turn. Um, in which case, we're going to have to welder to the blown. And is that even going to be enough? Welder to blown, attach. Yeah, welder to blown, attach to blown. Charging up. Great catcher, not good to today. This list does play two great catcher. I think the other one is in the deck. So that's our that's our other alternative game plan uh, to our current situation, which we just prefer to snipe a Dedenne to close out the game. But we'll see what our opponent does. They could get the knockout here on my Naganado with the one energy, which means I just can't do that. Here comes the double custom. There goes the Naganadel. Um, but we still have the Great Catcher game plan. We can still pull off the Great Catcher game plan. We've got a lot of cards in hand. A lot of cards can be drawn. Thin out our deck with these treasures and this quick ball. Uh, we only have one Ultra Conversion to work with, but we still have the Dance of Tribute and the Welder. So we're going to see at least nine cards, ten cards with our top deck. So ten of thirteen, and we should be able to thin out a couple with the treasures and the quick ball. We'll see immediately if the Great Catcher's in there, and if it's not... I fear we probably just lose. <laughs> if the Great Catcher is not in the deck, I think we just lose. We're going to find out right here, right now. Do we concede? Do we stay in the game? We're going to get beaten up by the Muscular Nose. We could hit this for 100 and then hope they can't, like, Malon on it. And then hope this guy doesn't have an energy to attack with, I guess, as well. Um, all right, send this guy up. Maybe we just top deck the, uh, the what's it called as well. Nope. No such luck. 
Um, just gonna treasure away. I don't know. Uh, welder maybe. That seems fine. The great catcher is in the deck. Grab the Naganadel. Like quick ball away one of these Naganadels, I guess. Get the stuff on. Ten cards in deck. We're gonna see nine of them, I believe. So it would have to be the last card in the deck. Dance of Tribute. Oh no. Welder to our Blown. Is it gonna be the last card in the deck? Oh, I was close. <laughs> it was getting there. It was getting there. We have the game now. I'm gonna go ahead and charging up. I'm gonna go ahead and attach to our active, or it doesn't really matter where we attach. Then we got that great catcher. I don't get rid of these two, I guess. Bring up that Dedene, and then we hit him with the Mind Blown. A discard four, take our last two prize cards on the Dedene. It was close there, though. It was in the bottom, the bottom four cards. It could have been the last card, of course, and if it was, we would have lost the game. Not this time, though, and we end up with a dub. All right, getting to another one. We are going first this time. Big blown start. Oof. No supporter, no way to find anything, really. Opponent did mulligan, though. That's good for us. That'll give us some options, hopefully. Looks like a Pikaram deck. Pikaram has always been a unfavorable matchup, I feel like, with big blounds. Um, whenever they don't have anything, they can just paralyze us with Raichu, and then we're stuck. Uh, stuff like that. But uh, it's not not a terrible matchup. It's just, um, you know, you know, if we had to choose to not play against Pikaram, we'd be like, yeah, you know what, we won't play. We would prefer to not play against Pikaram today. But definitely winnable. Definitely winnable. Turn one full blitz is, of course, something we are kind of scared of. You never know when it's gonna happen. Um, looks like it's gonna be a welder next turn, but we could get Marnie or something. So I'm still gonna just attach active, and I will bench another Blown because if they do get off the the turn one knockout, we want to be able to just immediately go into Beast Rings and just uh, get that response knockout. Yeah, turn one full blitz here. It's pretty scary. It does open up the opportunity for us to respond, but that would pretty much be all of our energy to get a response. And then if they knock out the next guy, which I will be able to because they just use the full blitz. That's when we kind of just lose the game because we have no energy in play um and we have no way to deal with their next big attacker it's probably a coco v that's only worth two prize cards so even if we ko that we don't win the game we still have to find a way to get into the burst gx after that before they would win the game on their turn so it gets a little a little poor for us a little bit crazy um but it's not too bad not too bad at all we'll be just fine not too bad. All right, Peak is getting set up. Here comes the Dede change. I think they did use Volkner. I actually wasn't fully... I saw Volkner get played out here, so... It looks like it was a... Well, yeah, it looks like a played Volkner. All right, that's what I thought. I uh, just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I was like, pretty sure Volkner got played here. All right, Jirachi coming up. I think we do just burst GX here and get as much energy in play as possible. It seems ideal to me there's a big charm so it's gonna take cost us one more energy to get knockout here um let's see what my draw is it is a welder because we could mind blown but that loses us an energy in play so i don't think i want to mind blown i think i do want to burst gx um Yeah, I think I'm comfortable with the burst GX here. I, I think I like the burst GX here. I, if I do knock out, I, yeah, I would have lost an energy, and then it's harder to get through the next couple knockouts. But if we just burst GX, we lose a Blown. So we need that, we're going to need that fourth Blown to probably close out this game. But um, now we can just go knock out this Picaram pretty pretty comfortably, I think. We're going to be able to knock out this Picaram. And then we just need to snipe the Dedene or Great Catcher, knock it out. And yeah, I'm feeling, I, this one's, I'm already feeling really good about this one. We'll see how it goes. We're not, the game's not over yet. Um... So we'll see, we'll see what happens from here, but I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. I could have treasured away the fire energy, but I think I want to leave this uh, Poipul to become an Aganadel GX that uh, draws the cards instead. Um, I could still make it a charging up because we will have this energy in the discard pile after that. Um, but yeah, that's why, I, that's why I didn't play it out quite like that. They also have this guy, which can be a little bit annoying to deal with, I guess, with the, with the red knuckles. I don't think it's going to come into play here. It can knock us out if we have an amulet on our blind. I didn't really think about that. We could get red knuckles because uh, it would hit for, oh no, it only hits for 70. Remember, remember, remember. For some reason I thought I hit for 80. I was like, I know it knocks out this guy. I think it knocks out this guy. It does not knock, it does not knock out this guy. So we can put the amulet here, protect this uh, prize exchange through the amulet. They can't do anything about it with the, by using red knuckles to make it awkward for us. So that's fine. 
Looks like they are they're short something here. They have no bench space for Coco Prism. They could still get the the other thing, Thunder Mountain, I guess. Um, they're playing pretty slow now all of a sudden, though, so I feel like they definitely whiffed that. So that's going to put us way ahead on the turn. If they've got nothing going on at all. Yeah, there's the retreat to the Dedenne. Oh, no, not the Dedenne retreat. All right, that's really good for us. Gonna go ahead and throw out a beast energy. And we got a lot of stuff to work with here. Um, I'm gonna go quick ball with the amulet because I don't think we need that anymore. Get ourselves another poiple. I will beast energy the active. I'm gonna treasure away a Marnie here. And we will play a Marnie. We do lose the beast ring in the hand, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, the Ganadel and Marnie, yeah. Draw some new stuff. Not a lot of options out of this one though. Um, hmm. Got the great catcher. One, two, three, four, five, 180. That would KO this Pikaram. That would put them in a world of hurt. I think I like it. Great catcher, get rid of these two. Keep the quick ball around. Bring up this peak. One, two, three, four, five, 150, or 250, 280, 270 HP. Mind blown. Yeah, that is gonna put our opponent in a very awkward spot for sure. Um, no energy in play, only one bench space to work with. Uh, they probably can't even full blitz next turn. Gives me another turn to kind of reset up, uh, figure out what I'm doing, start setting up some more stuff. Maybe I just win next turn with a great catcher if I can get a welder on this Blacephalon and we just KO a Dedenne. Um, yeah, you know what? It doesn't get too much better than the current situation we're in. This is, this is feeling pretty good. Okay, here comes the Coco. They finally found him. If they do knock out our active, we're definitely going to look for just the knockout on a Dedenne with the Venom Shot. We're still going to look for that Venom Shot to win the game. Yeah, definitely just looking for Venom Shot to win the game on a Dedenne. Not even going to look for the Mind Blown on the Picarab. We can just go Naganadel, Naganadel, dig for the Welder combo, slash just another Beast Ring. And we should just win the game off that. It should be pretty straightforward from here. I think we got this one pretty much locked up. Even if they do Full Blitz knock us out this turn, I am not worried about... Uh, closing out the game from there at all. Double custom, bringing up the other blount. I think they're just trying to thin out their hand. So they can use another custom to draw some cards. There's the attachment. All right, they're attacking. They found Thunder Mountain and Coco Prism off my Marnie. <laughs> my Marnie was a pretty good for them for the situation, but it's a full blitz. Ooh, but they can load up their active here and set up a tag bolt on both of these blounds. That's actually kind of scary. What we can do here this turn right now, though, is amulet our active blount. And it will... Um, Give them two prize cards, which means you get immediate access to the beast rings. Maybe should have quick balled my great catcher first, and seeing what was in the deck, but I think this is fine. I'm gonna send up uh, this guy. I'm gonna quick ball away the great catcher. No Dedenne. Ooh, maybe I messed up a little bit here. We're gonna grab this guy. And no Dedenne in the deck like I wanted. Okay, we have two ultra conversions to work with. Gonna first beast ring. Gonna get the psychic in the fire. And then Ultra Conversion. Good chance we see a Welder or another Ultra Beast that we can use this guy's Ultra Conversion with. There's a Marnie. Once again, Ultra Conversion. No Beast Ring. All right, hold on now. Treasure this away. I'm gonna grab the grab a Poiple to put in play. Maybe that's what we'll send into our active at the end of this turn. Attach active, and then I'm going to play the Marnie here. If we get a Beast Ring, we do win the game. We whiffed the Welder. No Beast Ring. We got a Heat Factory. We're not done yet. I'm going to go ahead and put the Heat Factory. Yeah, I've watched Dedenne was prized. I didn't check for him earlier. Heat Factory. <sighs> got the Welder for next turn, but that's going to be next turn. All right. We're on the retreat to a Poipole. Run away. Don't want to bench this other Poipole because I don't want to give them a, a Tag Bolt target. So we're just going to pass from here, and we'll see where it goes. They could have a great catcher, and then tag bolt, and then we could be definitely be in trouble. They can't custom catcher anymore. They're out of customs. So it comes down to a great catcher this turn. They get great catcher this guy, um, but they're only one E power left. So they would need great catcher plus their last E power to be able to make this work. There's the resetting hole on our heat factory. No surprise there, of course. Um, we can also Zapdos, knock out our Poipo, which could make... Eh, that wouldn't really make things too awkward because we still have this guy that can snipe a Dedenne. There's Coco V uh, coming out. He's still worth two prize cards. Not a big deal there. Stadium Nav did get a hit. 
Ops for nothing. Okay, probably no stadiums left. Um, there is the setup for the tag ball. Coco V bench. Like I said, if they actually get, oh, here's a custom for three. If they get great catcher, they can't play great catcher and E power out of this hand specifically. So they're going to need some more cards to work with. But yeah, if they can go, oh, there's the great. Going to be on the Blacephalon though. So that means we should be just fine to win the game on our next turn. They did get the great catchers. They didn't have the E power to back it up though. So they couldn't knock out this guy plus this Poiple and make it extremely awkward for me. So it's going to be a little awkward. Uh, but we have a welder for one, so we really just need one energy. And we're going to have access to Oracorio. We're going to have access to Ultra Conversions. We are actually probably going to draw our whole deck next turn, so it's impossible for us to whiff because there's plenty of fire energy left. We just need to play our turn, and the game is going to be over. We're going to snipe a Dene, get our last two prize cards, close it out. Once again, another snipe onto Dene to win the game. Pretty good uh, option to have in the deck. The Venom Shot, close out the game onto Dene. It's just, it's just kind of good. Here we go, Tag Bolt. Goodbye, Poipol. They go down to one prize card, but like I said, shouldn't matter. Two, three. All right, again, it all comes up. Gonna just uh, start with the ultra conversion. And then ultra conversion again. Still have Oracorio has an option, as an option. Welder onto the Naganadel GX. Yeah, pretty much drawing our whole deck. I probably could have thinned it out a little bit better and actually drawn our whole deck. But there we go. Venom Shot. Knock out the Dene for our last two prize cards. And that's going to do it for this video on the Big Blounds, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Um, yeah, Big Blounds are pretty cool. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. And peace.